Alright guys, welcome to another episode of Pat Taste Performance. Today we're actually in the laundry room where I keep some of my parts. My wife is getting a little upset. So it's starting to pile up. And that's from projects. So today we're actually gonna get rid of some of these boxes because today we're actually working on an icon. Um, it's a very good reputation for landscapers. And even with people growing up. Now your hint is, it is not the two-stroke version, but, yes, this is it. One box now. That's your hint, it's not the two-stroke version, but it still holds value. You regard this on that fast. Now we have to find the wheels. So, I bought this one mower in a lot. I didn't make um, a video on the lot because a lot of the stuff was running and driving. So it was kind of a boring episode. Right. Yes. Look, life is going to be very happy. We got three boxes coming out of the way. And this lawn mower, too, itself, I bought in a lot. It was running and driving. Romeo! Say hi. Say hi. Hey. Say hi. Sit. Sit. Give me a paw. Give me a paw. Give me a paw. Give me a... <gasps> Give a high five for the camera. Give a high five. Oh, give me another one. Good boy. We're babysitting my brother today. Uh, today's Saturday. Usually I work overtime on Saturday. But, um, I got called into work Friday morning. So I was able to work about 10 hours on Friday, came home, hustled a little bit. I sold the Pro's homeowner's package for $13.50. The guy actually came from out of state. He came from New Jersey. And uh, we were able to turn a really, really nice profit out of that. And we actually got a lot of equipment sold. I actually sold that Husqvarna snowblower before I even finished the video series. Thank God. I, uh, I videotaped the series itself, too. And I uh, sold a couple of things today. Serviced a couple of things today. People paid, so today's a pretty good Saturday. So, let's go take a look. Here we are. It's a lawn boy. If you guys don't know lawn care, then you do not know anything about lawn boy. This deck design is iconic. Now, believe it or not, I had the wheels off that was on there, but uh, we're good to go. So hopefully, I didn't lose anything while this was a pump. All right, so let's get this thing on stands. All right, so I already, so I'm in the profit by a lot already, because I bought a bunch of lawnmowers, and I already sold them. This is the last of the Mohicans. So, uh, this lawn mower is already paid for, and so are the parts, but regardless, if it wasn't, um, the parts of this are pretty expensive, I'm not gonna lie, and I'm pretty shocked. I never like to buy parts secondhand, but in this case, I really didn't have a choice, but these wheels aren't in bad shape, so I'm glad I did. I do not like to sell lawn mowers with bold wheels because it shows that this machine was used a lot and I just can't, that's a no-no in my part. So I forgot what the parts cost was, I'll look at the end of the video. And, um, I think I'm probably around a hundred bucks between the wheels and a new blade. Um, the wheels, shockingly, were a lot of money than what I'm normally used to paying. And I don't see anything special about them. I really don't. Uh, usually I run into issues where normal wheels are expensive when they have bearings built into it. Oh, M12, and that's a half inch. Front wheel. Alright, let's do the other front wheel. 
So, I mean, listen, I'm more along the part that this is a legend, this is an icon. I just want to make sure that, you know, it gets treated like that. Not like the typical, you know, ragamuffin lawnmower. Now, why are people obsessed with these lawnmowers? To the deck design, okay? It's great for corners and, and beds, you know, tight places where a regular lawnmower can't go. And if you go into a traditional lawnmower shop, they have this lawnmower called the Saber, and it kind of resembles this. They go for like six, seven hundred bucks. Now, the only more, the only lawnmower that's more desirable than this is the same exact body, but in its two-stroke form, which I have. But I haven't had the opportunity to work on it. I bought that thing for 35 bucks, and it's been sitting in my project file. So this thing runs and drives, which is awesome. Uh, it just needs some, some love. And uh, that's what we do here. We're going to give this thing some love. Now, the rear wheels... I got brand new because the price was just right. But then the front wheels I had to get used second hand. So it is what it is. Nice and new. And uh yes, yeah, so that's really it. Yeah. So the cool thing about these lawnmowers is what drives people to them is the high lift blade and its ability to stripe amazing, amazing. Now, if you are serious about lawn care, like me, if you follow my video logs, striping is life. Striping is what separates your lawn You're alone. I know this is bad. You're alone and everybody else's. And that's without a doubt. So, no, if you guys can see that. We're making sure that this washer is sitting flush for the new wheel. Are we in there? Of course we did, but remember, shit, I just remember these have nut at the bottom. So what you have to do is I'll we'll take this out. You have to fold the wheel all the way out so you can get the nut in the housing. Uh, I'll take you guys towards this nut. See that nut? It falls out of the housing. Right there. So we take our wheel. And we'll hold it. Alright. Under the blade. The blade needs to be changed. Because like I said I spent a decent amount of money on it, and uh, I'm happy with that. All right, so I got the one more on a jack stand. And let's take this. Which way is easier for me? Yep, you have to take this all the way out down here. We'll stick this nut in behind this slot for it. Okay. Now, if you guys remember that missing a washer, which is not a big deal, and that washer is stepped, so I am just going to try and compensate for it with two washers. So let me grab the one. The washer was stepped, 
So smaller washer, bigger washer. So we'll stick it through the wheel. Small washer. That doesn't fit. Oh well. Let's do the bigger washer. And we're just going to So let me go drill that smaller washer out. Alright, so I stepped out the washer. I don't want to bore you guys with drilling it out. I think that's pretty much common sense per se. So let's stick this in here. Just remember it was stepped. And then we'll use the bigger washer. And we could try this all over again. Of course it pops out. Yay, we're back in business. See how it's not tight? Success. Alright, now, before we put this thing down, let's see if she still starts. is a superior, superior paint can that Home Depot sells. It's 98 cents a can, and I hate to buy things, but it is just fantastic. Quick color, and it's quick drying. As we sharpen the blade, paint will be done. And then we're done. I actually buy this paint by the case when I go there. Because, as you guys know, when I sell machines, 
the first thing that people see. And what sucks about this is this is actually my wife's case. Yeah, let me go. My wife is out. Let me go tell her she could pick me up another case. So as you guys can see, even after just in between telling my wife to go get this in the sun, and it's just these little things that will turn the average lawnmower into nice looking younger less used It'll be enough for pictures. And then when my wife comes home, I'm going to spray this again. So usually I do a bath, just one coat, and that's really all this. I'm just going to get dinged up again. You just need to do enough. Just to make it look nice. Alright. Yeah, so that's that. Home Depot. Right, I'm gonna go put this in my halfway yeah, done. Alright, so now let's go sharpen this blade. So even though the blade is brand new, it still needs to be sharpened. That's how I feel. And the reason why I say that is you need to take the paint off the blade. So, just a quick rundown on more mower blades. Why is this a high lift blade? Are you guys done? This is a high lift blade. So look at this aggressive wing tip on here. You want to know what this does? As you're cutting the grass, the, I guess you would say the vecular motion actually stands the grass up taller. So as the taller, as the grass stands up taller, the more accurate cut you get, and also this lifts up the grass higher, to fill up the bag. So if you have a one mower and the bag is not filling up all the way, get yourself a high lift blade. Or if you side discharge, get yourself a high lift blade. The blades with the teeth are mulching only. Now if you get a newer Lawn Boy Husqvarna Toro, they advertise it's like a three in one or four in one blade, that's garbage. You can't have all, all. you need to pick one. And for a person like me, I carry both a mulching blade and a high lift blade for my grass. Because for the most part, I side discharge, so I want a high lift blade. But during leaf season, I'll switch to my mulching blade, I'll mulch my leaves, and then I'll drop my deck down one deck setting lower, and then I actually suck the rest up. And I still leave natural fertilizer, but I don't have enough then that'll choke and kill my lawn. So, let's sharpen this blade. Remember, I don't balance blades. Remember, I do not. It's pointless. So, just going to sharpen this. And remember, just a 30 degree angle. Take it right over the top. And then you go up the side. And that's it. You never touch the bottom. Only do this. Alright, so obviously when you sharpen blades, you want to have your PPE, personal protection equipment. These are safety glasses. And guess what? Bonus, they have earbuds built into them. Um, now the problem is, over time, they get cruddy and nasty with earbuds. Because uh, I'm a little bit of a 
I got oil on it and stuff like that, so I don't wear the earbuds no more. I have to order a new one. It's only 25 bucks from Snap-on. Now, we know Snap-on likes to rebrand things online. They're $2 cheaper, but for 2 bucks, I will support my local deal. All right, so just remember, we're just going to take off the paint. That is all we're doing. We're not even going to try and put an edge on this. It's already out. Take off the paint. That's it. Harbor Freight die grinder with a benchmark abrasives flap disc. Now the reason why I don't use Harbor Freight flap disc I used to is that they're so goddamn cheap and they burn. I could probably get a couple blades out of it and they're done. Benchmarks abrasive, they were free, but I had to pay for shipping. I'm still on my first one a year later. I can't tell you how many lawnmowers I've done already. Now this lawnmower blade is massive. I'm sorry, not. Put this on. It's massive. Massive. So. Ooh, no! This is not good. That's not good. This is what, 15 sixteenths or a one inch? Yeah, it's a 15 sixteenths. Milwaukee Impact. Now the crazy part is, is that I don't know if this is missing hardware or not, because there's no tits to hold it. And I looked up another one though. Remember my two-stroke one? It doesn't have any. I guess we're just going to keep it just like that. Or I might just put a nut in there. It looks like something was supposed to be there, but they're not. So what I'm going to do here, is I could be wrong, and I'm okay with being wrong, is that it's missing. I feel like it's missing something, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to nut and bolt this, and I'm going to use some nylon lock washers. So I changed my mind. I'm going to do short ones, because then the short ones will sit right in there, and they'll act as the tits to hold the blade in. See that? So we're going to use any C's. Remember, this step is unnecessary, but I'm just trying to do the right thing. Can't fault somebody for doing the right thing. Switch to the 716s because that's what these are. And then we'll put the wrench underneath like so. We'll just run these down. Right, and that's, there's our there's our boobies. There's our boobies for the blade. Put some anisies. And look. This is so much better how this blade will sit and stay 
in the mower, mower and reduce the risk of causing a wobble later down the line. See that? Perfecto. You got a power wash this too. Alright, so that's it for now. I'm gonna get this thing nice and hot. We're gonna change the oil. I'm gonna put you guys on time lapse for the oil change. Power wash this thing and uh, we'll get this thing ready for sale. And I'll do some after pictures of me after I shine this thing up.